All right, what's going on guys? Today, going out here to put some mineral out um, and freshen up a camera with some batteries and a new card. Uh, then we're gonna be trapping, trying to trap some crawfish uh, down here in the creek. So, if we're able to catch some, we're gonna take them back, cook them up. Um, obviously it'll be tomorrow, but take them back, cook them up, and uh, see how they go. Usually, excuse the bumpiness, usually um, if I catch crawfish, it's just to fish with. I'm just gonna try to do like a little catch, clean, and cook type deal. So I can't imagine it tasting any different than getting them from the store. I mean, it might have a little bit more of a fishiness to them, but I don't think it'd be that bad. I'm using Rack 1, it's R1, you find it at Academy. I actually found it for a decent price, it was on sale. Uh, I think it was $5.99, so wasn't that bad. Um, usually it's like eight or nine bucks, still not that bad for a bag. And there goes some deer. <laughs> Always when I'm hunting, not hunting, see deer. It's kind of strange. I'm actually gonna be putting this out in front of a camera that I have. Uh, this camera hadn't ran in over a month, so once we get over there, I'll show you a little bit on creating a new mineral site. Um, nothing's ever been put out over there. And in this spot, I'm actually gonna be putting this out. What it is, it's R1 accelerator. Um, and I've found this works really well, even when conditions are really wet. Um, it smells wonderful, travels a long ways. Uh, you can put it out here, hunt 75 yards off, you can still smell it. So it works fairly well. It usually takes a day or two for them to find it. And then once they do, they hit it, hit it, hit it. So I'm just gonna make a mineral site behind me. Like I said, 10 yards off this camera and uh, kind of go through the steps of that. I'm sure everybody knows how to make one. Um, if not, this video is obviously for you. You should probably do this with a raker stick. I'm just gonna do it with my boots just cause I don't have anything else out here with me. So basically, Basically, you're gonna clear out a spot, something like that. Um, open your mail up. Kinda of sucks, because I don't have a knife. So, you can open it up. And usually all I do is just kinda of dump it out in a, just that general circle. If I don't try to pile it up, I just kinda of fill that whole circle up. Once you're done, you're pretty much gonna have something like that. Just a general area, um, leaves removed, and then fill it up with your mineral. And obviously, you know, depending on depending on uh, how many deer you have in your area, this is a small property. I do this because it's a small property. And there's no deer getting held here. They're all just kind of funneling through. So I wanna give them a reason to stop. So this is, I don't know, 50 yards off of my climber that I have back here. And all this is is one little strip of woods um, in between a hay field and some other property that's all majority open field and pine. So they kind of just funnel through here. They eat acorns or eat whatever's here. In Georgia, it's legal to put this out on private property as long as you have permission. Um, corn, all type of baits legal. Uh, public land, it's not. So wherever you're at, I would check, you know, check what y'all's rules are and go by them but you can do this in the off season you can do this during the season you can do it year round however you want to do it it's really helped me out especially in front of cameras kind of see what i have coming through and attract more deer that come through so that's pretty much it um i'm gonna load this camera up uh, with a new card fresh batteries and then I'll see y'all in a second with those uh, crawfish traps. All right guys, so pretty much what we're gonna do is just go down here into this creek and walk the creek. Um, 
pretty much try to find the deepest pool that I can find to put these in. Um, I might find, try to find two different pools um, somewhere along this creek. Something that's easy to get into, um, just for the sake of this. There are spots farther down this creek that are much harder to get to, but I don't really feel like going there. Uh, especially carrying all the stuff I'm carrying right now. So, just gonna weave our way through here. Uh, it is nice to have those boots on so you can actually walk in the water and avoid most of this. So, maybe we don't run into any pigs down here. Uh, if I do, got a 9mm to take care of them. So, not too worried. We do have a vast that's the big problem here so I'm also not going to be tying these traps out um, just going to set them and all the limbs that go along with it there was a beaver down there at one time this is kind of deep it doesn't look deep it just mushes down really bad so Show y'all what we got to work with. We got a decent little pool here. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, I'll be able to go on down a little bit, try to find something a little bit better. I did find an okay spot. Sun's hit me right in the freaking face. But what these are just basic minute traps that I opened up the ends to about two inches versus the one inch that they were. Um, Gonna take them apart. And all I'm using, because I don't have anything else at the house, uh, using some dog food, which I found works fairly well. Um, so, I'm gonna bait these up, and then I'll pretty much show you where I'm gonna place them. So, that's pretty much what we got. We got dog food in here, in this minnow basket. There's actually a pool right here that I'm gonna set it in. Um, and we'll go on down and put the other one in a different pool. Um, it gets really shallow through here. There's just kind of deep pools off to the side, up under the trees. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's number one. It's in there. Let's walk on down and I'll show you setup number two. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer on this so you can see if you can see it. If not, it's like right there. Um, it's kind of a really heavy glare on the water. All right, I was walking, and this is gonna be area number two, right up under there. It comes up almost to the top of my boot. And as you can see, it's shallow to just bam, dark. So, just trap number two. I kind of set it in there. Some of the dog food's coming out. That's all right. All right, well, we got the two baskets set up. Um, I wish I had more. I actually had to go buy those two. I'm trying to crawl out of here. Um, I had to go buy those two because the ones I had, I don't know where they went when I moved. So, as you can tell right here, this creek is not very deep at all. It just has some spots that are fairly deep for what it is so y'all stay tuned and uh see y'all back tomorrow all right everybody it's the next day going back to check these crawfish traps uh see if i was lucky enough to get anything in them if not this video might as well be titled how not to catch crawfish all right there's one basket and here's the other basket See if I can get it in there. If y'all can see them or not, the sun's kind of being a hindrance. But, probably see them right there. Some crawfish in there. A couple minutes. I'm gonna get these minnows out of here and uh, switch everything over from this basket to this basket and then set this basket back. So, there's what we got. We got one small one. I kind of feel bad. I almost want to put him back. <laughs> but, uh, might actually put him back. Let's see. That's one of them. Maybe you don't pinch me. 
He's a decent size. The small one, obviously, is right here. He is a, he's a little fella, so probably gonna put him back. All right, guys, I'm back at the house. Um, we got a pot of water on. Get ready to throw these crawfish in here. I'll All right, so before I throw the crawfish into the pot, everything's boiling. I got one bag of this in there. Um, comes in like a seasoning bag. Get them out. Comes in like a bag like that. Two of them come in a pack. And then I also threw in some Old Bay. Um, it's hard to go wrong with Old Bay. So I'm gonna throw these crawfish in here and then uh, let them boil these lively things out of here. Oh, he's trying to get me. There's one. There's number two. So here's the finished product, uh, all three crawfish. This is the biggest one. These two are pretty much just medium size. The only thing I eat on a crawfish are the tail itself. Um, the tail, a lot of people, they will eat, I mean, they'll eat the tail and then they'll like suck the heads out. I'm not that hardcore. <laughs> I don't like it that much. I do like crawfish not to that extent I, i've seen people go in on them pretty hard so <laughs> but uh we're gonna get this tail pulled off and give a shot pretty much what you want to do is kind of just pop pop and pull after you pop it off i just go side to side and then pull out uh so after working with it for a second <laughs> all you do is peel it and then it's got pretty much if you however you want to classify it as the doo-doo sack the there's a membrane that goes down the center of the tail that holds all their stuff they've ate in there um then when you get done you come out with something about like this all of that for that but it's actually really freaking good pretty much gonna wrap it up for the video um let me know how you like to do your crawfish i'm sure there's tons of other better ways to do it I mean, it's, it's really good when you get them really fresh, straight from, you know, wherever you have to get them instead of getting them from the store. But those right there, really freaking good. I don't know about the shrimp and crab bowl by McCormick. Um, it was all right. Wasn't the best, you know, flavor I've ever had, but it wasn't bad. The Old Bay kind of helped it out. Um, one thing I didn't put in there was cayenne pepper, which kind of screwed me a little bit because I like it to have a little bit of bite to it. But other than that, it was really good. Uh, I mean, I'd encourage everybody to go out, try to catch some crawfish, cook them up, you know, see what it tastes like for yourself if you're not into that. Like, I'm not into crawfish like Louisiana people are. So, uh, I enjoy a good crawfish bowl, but I'm not really that good at doing it. So been a fun video if you would like comment subscribe uh let me know what else y'all want to see me catch kill whatever and eat um one thing i refuse to eat is coyote so not doing it just i refuse to but anything else i'll give it a shot so let me know in the comments below uh which i'd like to see